these pads are just so so beautiful i think even jesus would approve of them <laughs> today i'll be showing you how to create pads and atmospheres for any genre or style of music let's get into the project first up we're just going to load up some melodic sound i'm going to use one from my DJ organic house production suite and see if we can find the nice arpeggio Yeah, this one's cool. I like this one more. Oops. <laughs> Gonna set the tempo to 120. Cool. And we're actually gonna load this into, gonna call this channel ARP. So we have an arpeggio or sample. And then I'm gonna load up this rack that I created over here called the Holy Pads Rack that you can find on my site. This is how the rack looks like. And we're gonna play the sample again. So what this knob does over here is just freezes the sound. Turn down the highs, add some movement. and add a bit of texture, a tone to this. So, now I can create a separate audio track, hit resampling, record, and record whatever we have here. That should be enough. Duplicate this. And then we're gonna turn off the holy pads rack here. Now we create an atmospheric layer that plays along with the arpeggio that we have here. Can even delete this and see if we can find another pattern. Just gonna mess around with the individual parameters here. Let's say I like this. Hit record. Now it's recording into our resampling layer over here. Okay, that's enough. Just gonna cut this part out, duplicate it. Turn off the rack. Now we create some more fullness to the sound. It's one really cool way of doing that with the Holy Pads Rack. The Holy Pads Rack is also available for Ableton Live 10, but since Ableton Live 10 only comes with a limited amount of macros for each rack, it's a bit smaller than the version for Live 11 which looks like this, but both work very well. Just to illustrate how the version for Live 10 works out, I'm gonna show you it using the same sample over here. I'll delete the old one, add this one in. Pretty cool. You can really get some crazy sounds out of this rack. I'm gonna delete these layers for now. And now I'll be showing you another example. I'm gonna be loading in a synthesizer that I really like. In this case, Diva. Load it into a MIDI track, just like this. Gonna load up the Holy Pads rack. And then we're gonna play a note. What we can also do is add an arpeggio. Gonna head into this MIDI pack over here.
Just mess around with the individual parameters of my synthesizer until I get a sound that I like. And after that, I'm gonna hit play again. Slowly crank up this knob. Now we have a beautiful sounding pad. We can add another tone to it. Add some more highs or reduce them. Add a bit of a low cut and some movement at last. Gonna create a new audio track and resample whatever we have coming out of this track over here. So we're gonna hit resampling. Record input. And just start recording. Just for a few bars. And we're gonna stop the recording. Hit one bar, take this section over here and duplicate it till the end. And then we're gonna turn off the holy pads rack and play it with our melody. So we have a much fuller sound now. Yeah, that's just awesome. To mess around with this sample even more, we can create a new MIDI track, Control shift t and then we can import our audio file into the MIDI track over here. So we get to resample it even further. Then it looks like this. Using our keyboard, we can play the individual sounds now. Going to use the utility plugin just to increase the gain a bit. Can it loop mode over here? Then it loops whatever sample you have here. Hit fade. What we can also do is mess around with these individual parameters over here. So we make a pluck out of our melody. Just going to add a bit of reverb here. And we're going to add some delay too. And add this over here. pretty cool and what we're gonna do now is create a simple drum groove that accompanies our atmospheric melody over here gonna use a kick just one that I have in the sample pack over here drums one shots and kick let's go for the natural and transient number three Load these in. Change the BBM back to 120. Loop this. Can add a clap really quick. Duplicate this. Shift it a bit. Yeah, this should work for now. Add a hi hat. There we go. Duplicate it. So the hat plays on every eighth note and the clap plays on every second, fourth note. And we're gonna add a sidechain compressor to our melody over here. So we're gonna hit compressor. And we want the kick to be the sidechain input. So we're gonna hit sidechain over here by opening this menu, audio from, kick. Yep, 
Yeah. I mean, that sounds pretty freaking cool. Gonna increase the gain on this one again. See how it sounds like with our Eva here. Actually gonna add a top loop in so the loop sounds a bit fuller. Yeah, this one's cool. Let's just go with this. Loop this up here. Change an octave. We can always delete what we had previously and create new pads. Copy this compressor from here, add it here. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Can always create a new audio track. Resampling. Record this into a new audio layer over here. We can record it with the side chain as well. We can also turn off the side chain. Awesome. So we're gonna disable the holy pads rack and work with the audio layer that we have here. We're gonna take the section that isn't side chained and loop it up as we did previously. Uh, disable this one here. And we want that pumping effect, so we're going to add a compressor to this layer. Open this panel, side chain from kick. Nice. And what we can also do is create a MIDI track again and load the sample into here. This time we're gonna change this to sampler mode. Just looks a bit different and we're gonna mute the other layer. So we're gonna call this one Atmos. So we know that we're using this layer and we're gonna change the color to this one over here. Let's play it with the loop. Add some more effects probably. Reverb, increase the decay. So I just played in a few random notes. Gonna take this section here, gonna head into here hit control shift U. So our quantization panel opens up and I'm gonna hit apply. Cool. So now we have our new atmosphere layer. We'll duplicate that till the end. And we're gonna play this now with the rest of the track. Okay, head into this panel over here and change the individual parameters. and change the filter envelope over here. Just messing around with the sound. Checking what fits best. Cool. And you can also create completely different grooves. Let's say for fun, we're gonna disable this track over here. And let's say we wanna go crazy and produce some drum and bass. So I'm gonna load up some drum and bass rhythm that I have here. 
Oh yeah, Mr. Bill. Woo. Take this one over here, duplicate it. I'm gonna reduce the volume of this a bit and change the BPM of our track to 160 because that's the BPM of the beat over here. And we're gonna play it together with this one here. I mean, woo. <laughs> it instantly sounds cool. I mean, using the same pad that we used for our house beat, we're gonna create a little drum and bass beat over here. Can even disable this one over here, enable the one we had previously. But the sidechain is still coming from the kick that we had from our house groove. So we're actually gonna select the 17. So the sidechain compressor input is gonna be 17. I'll load it here. And as you can see, this method applies to any genre that you like. You can even create like offbeat hip hop, or liquid drum and bass type stuff. It really doesn't have any limitation for the genre. I'm gonna stick to the house groove though. Change the BPM to 120. Disable the drum and bass rhythm over here. And I'm going to hit input from kick. And let's say we want to use a chord or something else. You can also create an own chord pattern, but I'm going to use some from my pack over here. Like this one and overwrite the sample that we had previously. See how this sounds on its own. Cool. And let's take the holy pads rack again. From here, live 11. Add this before the sidechain compressor. So I want the second note to be frozen. Yeah, that's just lovely. Let's play it with the rhythm. And if we lower the pad amount over here, yeah, we get the original sample coming through. Can even create unique rhythms using the move speed knob over here. Disable the sidechain compressor, hit control T, create a new audio track, resampling, chord input, and record whatever's coming out of this layer over here. So we're gonna mute everything else. Perfect, that's enough. I'm gonna create this here. Disable the rack. And this is what we have. Let's see what else we can do. If you've watched my previous videos, then you know that I love using this Roser Step Sequencer, which is also for free. I'm gonna link it in the description below. And I'm going to take the sample that we've previously recorded and put it in here. Hit slice mode and change the sensitivity. Actually gonna hit 100% and increase the range to the full loop here. Gonna hit randomize, solo the sequencer. Let's see what we got. Mess around with the fade times here. Gonna transpose this by seven semitones so it's a perfect fifth and fits to the rest of our loop. Increase the gain a bit. Cool. Ooh. Yes. Ah. Yeah, that's just freaking lovely. Gonna add a delay. And add a comp 
compressor just like this and hit sidechain input from kick reduce the threshold I'm gonna add this compressor to my top loop as well so it sounds better I mean, I just absolutely, absolutely love the sounds that are coming out of this rack. The the amount of creative possibilities that you have with it is just, it's just amazing, as you can see here. It really doesn't matter what genre you're into, just mess around with the rack, see what sound you come up with, and experiment a bit. Have fun. I want to thank everyone who's been with me so far. I recently just hit 500 subscribers, and I'm just completely astonished by the amount of support that I'm getting. So thank you. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me grow and it helps me provide you more content like this. And if you like this rack, you can grab it using the link down in the description below. So thank you very much. Have fun producing. Peace out. Hi. Hey. <laughs>